a look at Dan Quinn, the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons in his second season. Ryan got a man wide open. It's Sanu down the sideline. Cuts in and he's caught from behind, but gets down to the 16-yard line. Mohamed Sanu brought in as a free agent from Cincinnati. Mohamed Sanu on the inside runs the out route, acts like he's going to block, gets the defensive back to bite up, and just is wide open right down the sidelines. Nice job by the offensive line making it look and sound like run so that Matt Ryan had the time to deliver on that play action. 59-yard pickup, five and a half yards away from the goal line. Um, first and goal. Three receivers right. Ryan with time, throwing deep. Sanu! Touchdown! Quite a catch by Mohamed Sanu. Quite a catch, but you always talk about taking what you do on the... See him right here on the inside of that little triple stack look. Gets the one-on-one -on -one and is able to beat Brent Grimes in the back of the end zone. Brent Grimes, former Falcon, got that left foot down. That's a touchdown. Ryan, tuck, they get the two, it's good. Mohamed Sanu on the catch. A big drive for the Atlanta Falcons. The fourth down conversion was huge, and the Falcons take it in. Great job changing in huddle and up tempo at the line of scrimmage. Matt Ryan fires, caught, Mohamed Sanu into the end zone, touchdown Atlanta. Well, there's no reason, no need to speculate anymore. The momentum has shifted to Atlanta. And Michael Bennett is down on the ground, but this is the route combination. Mohamed Sanu, they're just playing little zone coverage, and Jeremy Lane gives him way too much leverage. for the ball at... 37. Mohamed Sanu with a touchdown. Well, he ran second fiddle to A.J. Green with the Bengals. He runs second fiddle to Julio Jones in Atlanta. But he was the man on this drive. Well, Sanu, he he comes at Jake Ryan, and he's been running those crossing routes, those shallow routes, and Jake Ryan kind of bodies him up like he's going to try to run a drag, and then he takes up the middle of the field. And From the 47-yard line. And a little trickery and deceit, and that will get you everywhere. To Sanu, makes two handoffs, and Mohamed Sanu Takes the ball to the 23-yard line, and Ryan's big night continues. He's now thrown for 341 yards. Well, watch the play fake. It's really the key because if those linebackers hold, it's going to give Sanu plenty of time to get in behind those linebackers. No chance they're dropping in. Kind of hit him hard, but he missed them. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling I hear about that the rest of my life. Ryan, Sanu again, inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on Bradbury here a little bit because at the end of the play he's not going to finish. First of all, watch Bradbury in coverage. Now, first of all, it's a clean release, no hands on him. He's pointing, but watch the effort right here. Is he running as hard and as fast as he can to get in on that play? The answer is, if you're going to be honest, which it's we a, are in this it, broadcast, is no. No, that's a lack of effort. That's unacceptable. They've gotten better at second half of the season. He said early on we had some issues with procedural problems. And we were getting stuck in, you know, second and 15, first and 15s. We get it to third and one and get a third and six. So they've cleaned that up here down the stretch. Can't have those in the red zone. This pushes the Falcons back to the 10-yard line. Tenth play of the drive for Atlanta. As Coleman sets up in the backfield to the left of Matt Ryan. Three receivers to the right. Ryan steps up. And now he throws end zone. 
touchdown, Mohamed Sanu. This is one of the areas that I think Matt Ryan has really taken that next step and elevated his play this season to have a type of year where you're being mentioned in the MVP candidacy. Watch this as he climbs up in the pocket, eyes down the field. His movement within the pocket has really improved this year. Now, they've got the bootlegs and the different type of movement things where they get him on the edge, but when the play breaks down and Matt climbs in the pocket, extends it just a little bit, I think that's really been a big part of his game.